Okay. Evacuating by car. Hazards of evacuating by car. Block roadways and stall the vehicles. Uh, muscle power. It's possible to mobilize enough people to clear roadways for others. For example, you could convince a patrolman who's doing nothing that with enough people, like 50 people, it's possible to clear a roadway. Even large trucks can simply be put back on their wheels and pushed to the side to allow for others to pass through. Uh, evacuation checklists. Keep them available so you're sure you have an, everything you need during evacuation, even if you're going to shelter in place and uh, a checklist can make a difference. So real quick, I'm just going to go over some ideas here. Uh, first, survival information, shelter, information on shelter, nuclear instructions, maps, battery powered radios with ba spare batteries, a fallout meter, and writing materials. Tools, shovels, picks, saws, axes, hatchets, files, knives, pliers, gloves, and file cards. That's file card is is you know what a file card is. It's like a, a thing that cleans off the file. Um shelter building materials, rainproofing such as plastic, shower, curtains, cloths, and ventilation pumps. Water, small filled containers, uh, trash bags, small plastic bags, pillowcases, Clorox, a teaspoon for measuring the Clorox, and like maybe like a life straw or like a, a water filter. Uh, valuables, money, cash, coins, credit cards, jewelry, uh, checkbooks, important documents, lights. Flashlights, candles, matches, jars for waterproofing matches, uh, lanterns, clothing, boots, uh, cold weather boots, overshoes, raincoats, ponchos, work shoes, and socks, extra socks, uh, sleeping gear, uh, sleeping bags, uh, like cold weather sleeping bags, uh, emergency blankets, uh, it's recommended to have two blankets per person. Uh, food, ba baby food takes the highest priority. Uh, like powdered milks, um, like the jarred foods. Uh, f food that doesn't require cooking, salt, vitamins. Uh, f food without cooking, like MREs. MREs are good because they don't include just the food but they include all different types of stuff like toilet paper and moist towelettes and spoons uh, salt pepper Tabasco sauce I don't know if they do Tabasco sauce anymore they used to um, but the MREs it, it comes with a cooking pack but you don't have to cook them in basic training when we were in basic training we weren't allowed to have those so we ate those things without cooking them so I know that you know, it's possible you could do it. You're not going to get sick from it. Stuff is already pre-cooked. You're not literally cooking it when you warm it. You're just warming it up. Um, and, like, you can use those things, you know, if you want to, uh, you know, heat up water or something like that. Um, so, the uh, vitamins... Uh, can openers, bottle openers, knives, pots for cooking, cups, bowls, and spoons. Sanitation, saran wrap, a uh, five-gallon bucket so you can poop and pee into it. Uh, toilet paper, I like baby wipes. Uh, diapers, soaps, and tampons. Uh, medical, aspirin, Tylenol, What's the other one? Advil. Spare eyeglasses, contacts, first aid kit. Uh, like Lysol disinfectant. Potassium iodide. Iodine. They're like tablets to help protect your your thyroid in case of nuclear expo explosion. Um, and then miscellaneous. 
uh, mosquito netting. You can get the ones that cover your face, you know, you put it over your hat, or like you could get the screen put inside your like, car window or whatever, or keep the mosquitoes out, whatever. Uh, repellents like off. Uh, I don't like using off on, on the kids. I like using the, it's a skin so soft is what it's called. You can get that through Amazon. That'll keep the bugs off too. I don't know if it does anything for ticks. I know it keeps mosquitoes away, but, and then also like uh, books for reading. Some of your favorite books. Um, so that's pretty much it. Tomorrow I'm going to st start moving into shelters. I'll do a real quick one, and then I'll spend the next week or two on, on shelters to get in a little bit into depth on that. All right, so that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.